The Prime Minister of Solomon Island, Gordon Darcy Lalo, is expecting Indonesia to play an active role in the Asia-Pacific region and establish a balance between developed and developing countries. APEC, with 21 Asia-Pacific country members, has a huge economic potential to it. And Upsec will present to you a special dialogue with the Prime Minister of Solomon Island, recording during the APEC summit at Nusa Dua Bali. You're watching the TBRI's today's special dialogue. I'm Romano Prasetya, and it's been such an honor. Here with me, the Prime Minister of Solomon Island, Honorable Gordon Darcy Lil. Mr. Prime Minister, in the April 2013, some three priorities among that is the connectivity among the regions and also the sustainable growth. I wonder, what is your expectations in this, especially in this APEC 2013 summit here in Bali? Well, I think the most important thing is to uh, build the foundation mm -hmm. uh, for a long-term partnership where we can uh, establish with APEC uh, member countries. Because uh, uh, the fundamental issue that you want to understand is that uh, within Asia-Pacific uh, uh, region, there are small and developing states that have, in the past, have never been given the chance to be able to uh, speak out and bear their views in the context of the uh, opportunity uh, that is uh, available uh, for us to promote fair and equitable development of all the member states uh, within the Asia Pacific region. What we have seen over the past years is that uh, 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 larger countries uh, of the Asia Pacific region mm -hmm. leading the way in uh, championing uh, uh, economic growth within the region uh, but at the same time uh, we have uh, tend to forget you know the plight of the uh, smaller and developing states and today it's increasingly visible that uh, we have seen a lot of challenges that uh, the smaller and developing states are facing uh, climate change of course you know in the forefront but uh, what is still uh, uh, neglected is the equitable development, mm. uh, the uh, 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 fair value and economic benefits from the uh, natural resources, for instance, uh, more so from the ocean resources that uh, the small island developing states have, that uh, we have not been able to see a fair share and a uh, fair growth uh, out of these sectors. The main issue nowadays is how to create the free trade and also the fair trade. Do you, uh, in your opinion, what is the special needs of the regulations or because all the domestic donation is not coming from the, the special or the set, uh, same level of the yes. industry? Yes. Among that, it's a strong industry yes. and some of them is uh, still in emerging mm. or development. Mm. What is the special need, in your opinion, to make the fair trade among the countries? Fundamental is equity. Mm. We need to ensure that equity it must be featured in all the partnership arrangement that we have uh, either within the Asia Pacific region or countries within the Asia Pacific region with the developer uh, uh, and industrialized uh, uh, nations uh, if the whole concept of equity is built into this partnership arrangement I'm sure that we will be able to have fair trade and a fair growth and sustainable growth into the future to make the region as your perspective especially resilience and also how to to de make the the region is instability we have to build more connectivity that's the issue also in the sure. like 2030 yes. and uh, these are our tourist facilitations is the mobility uh, easiness for all the country what do you respond in on that issue i think it's quite relevant Connectivity has to be locked in now. I mean, we, we all know that uh, uh, smaller uh, countries in the Asia Pacific region need uh, uh, good connectivity, both in terms of the physical infrastructure, uh, uh, communication, uh, transportation, and also in energy. Mm. Uh, in energy, uh, we need to link them to a more fair priced uh, fuel arrangement uh, in order to be able to trigger good you know industrial uh, development partnership 
between the uh, industrial nations and the small island uh, countries in the uh, Asia Pacific region. And so uh, I quite agree with you uh, on that. But what is also more important is the connectivity in terms of the people to people exchange. Uh, because uh, that is the main vehicle that will promote good education uh, between peoples and, and a good agent that will bring education uh, much further than just institutional education. To make the community stable and then, uh, like you said, the oil price and stuff. Mm. What is your point of view on I mean, the stability, uh, especially in the Middle Eastern or something? Uh, while uh, it's such an issue, a strong issue to, to make the Asia Pacific in, uh, stable in economy, of, mm. especially. Well, in the immediate uh, 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 terms or in the immediate future, we would want the, relation, the situation in the Middle East you know, to stabilize. And I'm sure that uh, Indonesia can play a lot of uh, uh, role uh, in influencing good, stable, and equitable uh, negotiation uh, between you know uh, countries that have uh, gone through certain instability. Uh, but I think what is more important is to be able to offer uh, alternative and renewable energy, you know, to small island states uh, within the uh, Asia Pacific region, uh, so that you know they can look into other opportunities for energy development uh, without having to be uh, uh, locked into this whole global energy crisis that is now uh, shaping up and it's uh, deepening right now. Uh, so uh, I think there is a short term to long term uh, perspective that you know, we need to look into it. Uh, but I think if uh, uh, the world is to see a more stable environment, uh, we need to give a little bit of a, a, a chance for a fair talk uh, uh, for this region, you know, to find uh, a better uh, prospect for normalcy to be uh, returned to these countries. My last question, Asia Pacific Economic Corporation is about uh, multilateral corporations, but mm. in the midst of the APEC, it's the bilaterals among mm. the countries, the two countries, the Solomon Islands have special uh, bilateral agreement or something uh, with other countries in this APEC uh, 2013 Bali? Uh, definitely. I mean, we have uh, long-standing uh, traditional uh, relations with some of the uh, countries, uh, member countries of the uh, APEC region. For instance, uh, we have bilateral uh, relations with Australia, uh, New Zealand, uh, and also with uh, uh, United States of America. But more recently, we have opened up more uh, series and a uh, 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 fairly uh, uh, comprehensive uh, talks with uh, Indonesia. Because as you know, uh, into the future, uh, connectivity into the market within the uh, ASEAN region uh, will become uh, the main focus of uh, a new uh, source of growth. Uh, and I believe it's a new source of economic growth for the whole global world. And so we are building up that bilateral cooperation as well and uh, uh, focus on uh, a better sub-regional, uh, uh, sub-multilateral uh, 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 arrangements uh, that you know, we can promote better equitable uh, uh, development. But uh, the whole multilateral architecture uh, has to be revisited because uh, what is more meaningful to countries uh, is the bilateral uh, arrangements. But there are tendencies for larger countries to downplay the fate and the uh, future prospect of smaller countries. Um, this kind of a multilateralism has to stop. We must give space for equity for all citizens of the world to be able to have uh, a chance to develop more equitably out of the resources and the environment that the uh, good almighty has endowed for all of us. To keep to the region balanced and absolutely. the opportunity of the sure. country members and yes. stuff. And most so importantly, to share, to share the growth, the growth yeah. Yeah, more equitably to all the citizens of our region. Mr. Prime Minister Gordon, thank you for your valuable time. It's an honor to meet you here. It's my pleasure to yeah. participate in this uh, conference. Thank you. That's uh, the end of today's uh, dialogues. I'm Romano Basotia. Thank you for watching. Thank you.